Yeah, Blake, um, any nerves at all when you stepped out there for the, the 50 yarder? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say it was like nerves, but I definitely had some adrenaline going. It, I don't know. It felt pretty natural, though, I would say. Uh, Coach mentioned you had told him 52 was kind of the, the outer edge of your limit today. Is that pretty typical of where you're at? I mean, how consistently are you knocking down 50 yard field goals usually? Yeah, just, uh, that was just kind of playing it safe today. Um, the wind was changing like every five minutes, and I knew going both ways, even if it was into a win, that 52 would be makeable. So that's kind of where we got that number from. Appreciate it, Blake. Yep. Michael. Well, Blake, how do you put yourself together from a mental approach after last week and, and missing twice to kind of get back in the right mindset? Um, I don't know, just, we just went back to work with, uh, you know, Randon and Jack and we all put in a lot of work the past two weeks and, uh, I don't know, just, uh, started feeling more comfortable and everybody got more dialed in. So I think, the two weeks off or we had about two weeks off and, uh, I think we were able to figure some stuff out that, uh, and get more comfortable. Scott Fridgen. Yeah. Hey, Blake, congrats on the win. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I, I was uh, curious, first of all, you've been with him in several big games before, but what did you notice most about Skylar Thompson today? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he's, uh, he's pretty, pretty amazing. So, um, I don't know. He's able to just turn it on when, you know, he obviously falls back on his training, but he's able to um, just turn it up a notch in these big games and it's, Pretty incredible. You guys were obviously 28 point underdogs. Just what is the feeling like being able to walk off the field with the game winning field goal? Um, uh, it's uh, undescribable. I mean, dreamed about this for a while and I don't know, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's undescribable. So. Thanks, Blake. Yeah. Mitchell. Like, what is it about this OU game where K-State continually, now back-to-back -back years, y'all have upset them? What is it about this football game where y'all continually have these huge comeback wins? I don't know. I mean, I just think we're a team that never gives up. I mean, everybody at halftime believed that we could win, and <laughs> Coach Kleiman got in there and was uh, getting us all uh, hyped up and stuff, and he uh, – you know, just he never gave up on us, and he always pushed us and told us we could do it. And just from the first half, I mean, it it just felt like we could play with these guys if we were to, you know, do our jobs and stuff. So, I don't know. Yeah. And can you describe for us what the scene is like in the locker room with everyone jumping around, excited after this type of game? <laughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> I would say it's a uh, I don't know. It's like being at a crazy club or something. <laughs> it's it's pretty nuts in there. So yeah. Jaron said that he was scared that oh there's all these these linemen around running around. He said he was scared that he was gonna get run over. Were you scared too? <laughs> yeah I'm always scared of that. So I got gotta look out. So all right let's go last one right here, Ryan Black. Hey Blake, I know that when we've talked to you before, you know you've always talked about priding yourself on your accuracy. Uh I said, no, had you ever had a game before the opener where you'd missed two two kicks in a game? And then secondly, was that easy to, to shake off a performance like that? Um, I don't think I've ever had a game where I've missed two kicks, but uh, I know last year's home opener I missed one. So I don't know. Maybe I just need to get that first game out of the way or something. But I don't and, know. And, then, and then, like, before today, when's the last time you can recall kicking a game-winning field goal? Or is this the first? Uh, I mean, I kicked a couple in high school, but yeah, this is a first for college.